North Dakota's Senate voted today to prevent statewide mask mandates from ever happening again. However, in order to become law, House Bill 1323 that passed today would need to be signed by the very person whose power it restricts, the governor. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more on today's vote and what the future of mask mandates could be in North Dakota. Mask mandates no more. That's the stance of a majority of North Dakota lawmakers. And as horrible as it is, Mr. President, uh, this disease that we have, this China virus, has been used as a political weapon and continues to be used as a political weapon. The Senate voted 30 to 17 to prohibit statewide mask mandates after an amendment was passed to still allow for cities, counties, school boards, and businesses to make their own decisions. Compromise, Mr. President. It's a necessary tool. The chamber's gallery was filled today with a crowd supporting the bill who cheered after senators spoke in favor of it. Many arguments centered on personal freedom. And I believe good people, when they're educated and informed, will make good decisions. I guess when I came to this nation and took an oath to this constitution, I knew that liberty uh, always trumps safety. But others were concerned that taking the mandate option off the table could put the state in a risky spot if an even deadlier virus were to come about. But I think in our society, sometimes we forget that we should care for others. The legislation comes in light of the state health officer's mandate from November through January meant to slow the spread of COVID-19. Bismarck Burley Public Health Director Renee Mock says that mandate helped. We really did see a decrease in overall active cases. Um, hospitalizations were reduced, um, our deaths were reduced um, per month, and it really showed to have an impact um, when everyone was participating. The bill, which was amended on the floor, will head back to the House and after that to Governor Doug Burgum's desk for a signature or veto. And even if he does veto it, the legislature could override that veto with a two-thirds vote. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. And the governor's office says he generally does not comment on pending legislation. If a situation